Um, thank you for your interest in the MA programme at the University of Warwick. Um, I'm Ian Abbott and I'm the director of the Institute um, and I've been working with teaching leaders over the last two years um, running the MA programme. What I'm going to do is to say a little bit about the way in which the programme works, what we expect of you um, as students and how it relates to both the broader teaching leaders programme but also your own work in school. The University of Warwick is a very highly regarded um, institution um, which is ranked in the top ten of universities um, in the country. Within the Institute of Education we run uh, programmes in conjunction with a number of um, organisations. The one that you're probably most familiar with is that we work with Teach First both on the um, initial teacher training side but also delivering their MA programme and I know that probably some of you have come through the Teach First programme and certainly many of you will work in the in schools that offer the te that, that train uh, Teach First participants. So the programme that we've put together um, has been developed from the Teach First Masters. Um, we aim to build on the programme that you're following with teaching leaders and to provide additional academic input. It's important to remember that this is an M level qualification so there, there is a high expectation in terms of academic input and making use of academic sources to support the practical work that you're doing both in school and on, your, and on the rest of the programme. Can I start then by just saying a little bit about the way in which the programme is organised? In order to get an, a, a, a master's qualification, you need to get 180 credits. And we offer those in chunks of 30. So that for each module that you do, you acquire 30 credits. In the first year, you would do two credits, uh, two modules rather, which will give you 60 credits. The two modules, one will be taught by staff from the university and the other module will be based upon the programme that you're following for teaching leaders. In the university-based programme you'll be looking at uh, leadership and management in urban schools. So you'll be looking at some of the theories and some of the practical applications um, of leadership in order to improve the way in which uh, urban schools um, operate. At the end of that module, you are required to produce a 5,000 word assignment. This will be a, a normal um, academic assignment. You'll be provided with some input from the university, but also a tutor likely to be me, who will provide um, additional support um, both in person but also through um, email communication. The second module, as, as, as I've already said, based around the teaching leaders module that you, uh, the teaching leaders program that you're, that you're following throughout the year. And basically what we ask you to do is to create a portfolio of evidence based on the inputs that you've received and reflect on two particular areas um, related to your own experience in school. So there's a mixture of gathering and identifying materials and then undertaking some evaluation of that in terms of, of what you've done. Those two modules are spaced throughout, spaced throughout the year and at the end of that first year, provided that you've successfully completed both those modules, you will have got 60 cats towards the M level, to, towards the M level qualification. In the second year, you follow again the, the same sort of model in the sense that you do two modules, but these are based around developing your research skills and research methods. 
you'll, you'll do leading professional inquiry one and two and they will be delivered by staff from the university in the same way as the first year with the same level of support. The idea behind both of those modules is that you draw on your own experience in school and that you look at a particular area and investigate that in detail over two assignments throughout the year. There is input again from, the univer from university staff to enable you to develop the necessary skills in order to carry out um, the practitioner research which is an essential part of that program. The idea is that it provides you with the opportunity to link theory with your own practice. So that's, the two, that's how the two years work. Part of the delivery is at the University of Warwick and uh, for the other part uh, we come out to you. So there is a program designed at the beginning of the year so that you know exactly uh, what your commitments will be and what will be expected of you. As I've said we're currently in the third year that you would be the third intake so we've got people who have completed um, 60 cats and people who have, uh, uh, have completed 120 cats. Um, the model seems to have worked quite well with the people that we've um, been teaching and working with over the last two years and so it's a, it, it's a model that's based on um, our experience of working with practicing teachers because um, clearly a lot of the work that we do is with people like yourselves who are involved um, in part-time study. So we're well aware of the issues um, that um, can arise. We provide a, an extensive range of support um, and we're used to dealing with um, people who perhaps haven't studied for some time, who are returning to master's level study and also have got a job and a life. At the end of the two years you are eligible for the postgraduate diploma and if you decide that you want to walk away armed with the postgraduate diploma that's fine, that's uh, a qualification in its own right. Um, this year um, almost all of the cohort decided to continue beyond the second year into the third year. Now this all seems a, a long way away at the moment because you're just deciding whether or not you want to um, embark on this program um, and I don't want to go into too much detail about that but it is something that you do need to to think about. If you decide to um, continue into the third year of the program the third year would be based around a dissertation um, where you would have a little bit of input from staff at the university um, on research methods but you would effectively be working with an individual supervisor on a topic to, to write your dissertation. It's a 12,000 word um, dissertation which is um, considerably shorter than the 20,000 word dissertation um, that we require for some of our others, other master's programmes. But that's something that you want to think about, uh, maybe want to think about at the end um, or towards the end of the, of the second year. So at the moment, effectively, if you decide to come onto the programme, you would be committing yourself to a two-year programme, which at the end of that period would give you, give you a postgraduate diploma with the option of going on to a master's programme um, for, the, for, the final, for the final third year. The only other thing to say um, is that in terms of assessment, um, I've talked about each piece of work being um, uh, a written piece of work. The length of those um, pieces of work is 5,000 words, but clearly they take different forms. In the first year, you've got um, the assessment related to your Teaching Leaders program, which is part portfolio and part analysis of the portfolio evidence that you've presented. The other module in the, in the first year is again a 5,000 word assignment, but that is an, what I would call an academic piece of work based around the program that you've had input on. In the second year, the leading professional inquiry one and two 
both modules require a 5,000 word um, written assessment, but that is structured around a piece of, of action research that you would undertake in your school. So although you're writing it, it is very much based on your own practice and your own experience. If people have questions that they want to um, talk to me about, then that's fine. Um, you can, you'll be provided with details of how you can contact me. Thank you very much for your time.